Welcome back guys, so today we're going to be focusing on our battery on our 100 series Land Cruiser. A lot of times we tend to neglect our battery as part of our maintenance uh, in our vehicles, right? Especially if you're doing a lot of overlanding and, and or going from one type of weather to the other to extreme weathers. That also could cause the battery to not uh, perform at its best. Uh, so with, with that being said, I just got back from a um, small trail. Uh, and it was about 98, close to 100 degrees. So the battery is working a lot different than compared to uh, living in the city, right? Not only that, but the whole engine bay is gonna get hot. So about two weeks ago, I checked my battery and it was about 11.9, so that's not good for a battery. I've owned this battery here for almost close to three and a quarter uh, years, so almost four years. So obviously it does provide a warranty up to four years, but if you want your battery to last four years or more, you gotta make sure you maintain it. And you're like, well, how do I maintain the battery if, you, if you're new to this kind of stuff? Um, there's battery chargers or battery maintainers and stuff like that. So if you saw my previous video, you saw that I did an unboxing of Odyssey's brand new, uh, new to the market charger specific to help their batteries get maximum power and the maximum lifespan for this for their batteries. So what we're gonna do is check the voltage on the battery currently to see where it's at. Um, Odyssey, you wanna be at, I wanna say 12.85 or 12.8, depending on your meter, right? Um, which is the fully charged battery and that would give you the the health of the battery uh, By the voltage, right? So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. I got my battery tester here. You can pick one of these quick easy Voltage meters uh, digital display here on my Amazon store in the description below um, I just came in parked it uh, after the trail again. It was super hot. We're gonna test it and it's 12.3 I don't think you guys can see it, but trust me 12.3 so i looked it up anything under 12.4 in the battery is gonna might have the battery will have trouble starting a larger engine um this is a v8 it does take a lot more you know crank or more power cranking amps to push this motor so at this point at 12.3 um, that is something that I do not want to have. I want to be higher than that, right? We said 12.8, what a fully charged battery should look like. So 12.3, under 12.4, it's going to be an issue, especially if we're out in the hills. And let's just say I don't have a solar or a secondary battery to be able to jumpstart it and or, you know, anyways, basically just don't want to have to deal with that. We're, we're my, my Land Cruiser only has one battery. We don't have a dual battery. We don't have solar. So we're going to want to make sure that we fully charge this battery and also maintain it. So what we're gonna do is, um, this battery is still under warranty, so if I, if there was an issue and Odyssey thought that it wasn't gonna get their char its charge back, then I'm sure they'll all take care of the warranty. So reach out to Odyssey and their website and their tech team and they'll help you out. But they did send us their brand new uh, battery charger, uh, 59 battery charger uh, to do a test on it. Um, so what we're gonna do is try to charge this battery up and I'll show you guys what I was using before if you guys watch my previous videos And I'm not gonna show their name. This is not to knock them But this is more to show you what it takes to be more specific for this Odyssey and AGM batteries um, I was using a 4.5 amp battery charger and maintainer uh, One of the things and I'll read it to you guys here. This is a 12 and a 6 volt and this is AGM flooded and lithium uh, settings or options to power up right so this is not just dedicated for AGM only this is the setting that they have is AGM and flooded so um, when I talked to Odyssey Odyssey says well you know we, we need something that's gonna be more amps to be able to char fully charge our battery said a minimum of you know 10 amps to help power it and get it to where it should be so 4.5 amp is not gonna be significant enough power to help you know maintain and power this battery up and make it live longer than four years so i mean i picked this up you know at costco for 40 bucks this is great for you know for other stuff you know it's still good for flooded and stuff like that but when it comes to agm specific batteries you want to make sure that you have the correct charger so with that being said this is not a bad product it's just not enough to take care of this bag bad boy right here and also this is a 100 amp 
battery so being that this is a 100 amp battery it's a lot larger so it's going to take a lot of more it's going to take more amperage to charge this correctly so you know instead of 4.5 you know anything above 10 uh, amps is going to be a lot it's going to be more helpful for this battery so you could get that full capacity and that long lasting battery that you should be having so uh, this is the brand new odyssey battery charger uh, obc 15 so this is their 15 amp their settings on this particular 15 amp charger has flooded agm lithium and odyssey agm square so odyssey actually partnered up with c tech to have and i think they don't even i don't think c tech even carries a 15 amp ch charger so this is specific for odyssey and meant f and made for odyssey having the correct charger like this it's going to protect and help maintain your battery and and make the lifespan a lot longer so again this is one part of our maintenance in our vehicles that we really don't pay attention to especially if you're doing stuff like i am with the land cruiser this is my toy i want to make sure that it's running tip top shape and it's maintained well so having the right battery and the right charger will keep me on uh, on the road or off-road correct right so we're going to connect our odyssey charger to our battery but before you go ahead and connect your battery charger make sure you read your instructions or your manual for your vehicle on how to charge your battery system because this is an older vehicle the setup is different from a newer vehicle and also <laughs> read your manual on which mode and what type of battery you have as well so odyssey recommends to put this charger away from the battery as far as possible or as far as the, the cables will allow you to. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the floor and I'm gonna show you the settings too. First thing what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually undust our area. Mount our ground first. and mount our power second. We still haven't plugged the wall in. That reading again, 12.3, so we wanna get it to 12.8. If we can't get it fully charged, it means that it's the battery is kinda of declining. Again, almost almost four years with this battery. Cold, super cold weather, and super hot weather, so let's uh, connect it now. So now that we have our power and our ground connected to our battery, and every vehicle is different, so make sure you read your manual, we're gonna go ahead and connect our power source to it, um, we're going to make sure that we have the correct mode. That is an AGM battery, but because this is an Odyssey battery, we're going to go ahead and put it specific to AGM, Odyssey AGM. Now it's going to indicate that the, the charger is charging. If it said check, you got to always make sure you have the, you, you check your cables, your plug and anything like that. So this battery charger has different, different settings. Obviously check will let you know to check your connections and other issues. This will indicate that the, there is power. This indicates obviously the type of battery you have and there's charge. So that lets you know that the battery is charging. If it's in the middle, it, that is charged and ready to go. If it goes into maintain mode, that means it automatically goes into maintain. So it trickles your battery to stay charge but without obviously overly charging or anything like that so I mean so there's maintain mode right now we're fully charged and, and this is fully charged and ready to go so now let's check the voltage of the battery up top now that the charger indicates that we're fully charged and ready to go we're going to go ahead and disconnect the cables or well, the power source first then our ground depending on where you ground it uh, in this case I grounded it to the battery read your manuals automotive manual first before you ground this directly to your battery then the power now we're gonna ch check our uh, voltage on our battery and we have so we have 12.6 a fully healthy o Odyssey battery should be at 12.8 so we're 0.2 below so being that it's 12.6 that's indicating to me that the lifespan of this battery has been shortened a little bit again if you're paying $400 plus for a battery or even $200 plus for an AGM battery you want to make sure that you have the correct charger to charge your battery so again at 12.6 it doesn't mean that the battery is not going to function it's still a great battery and still going to be using it but for what i use it i want to make sure that i do have that 14.8 because we're on the middle of nowhere and i want to make sure that i don't have to worry about having to start my vehicle right 
Uh, I do have some accessories uh, on the vehicle, LED lights and stuff like that, um, light bars and backup lights and all that stuff. So that does drain the battery a little bit. So at 12.6, if you're using your vehicle every day on the streets and stuff like that, 12.6 is not gonna be a big deal, but just know that you have to watch and maintain and check your voltage on your battery just so that you know you don't get stranded in the middle of you know the city or anywhere like that so if you charge your battery and you're having any issues or any questions regarding your odyssey battery reach out to odyssey support team and i'm sure they'll help you out uh, in any which way they need to uh, for your specific battery and vehicle so, so hope you guys enjoy this video on how to use odyssey's brand new battery charger 15 amp uh, for their AGM batteries and other batteries as well. If you're interested in picking one of these up, keep an eye out on their website and I'll put all the information on in the description below. They should be out soon and with uh, MSRP prices as well too. So big shout outs to Odyssey again for sending this over to us to put it to test to make sure the batteries on my Land Cruiser and my other vehicles are fully charged, maintained and ready to go for our next adventure. So hit a subscribe and a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next video.